triple header. So let's go from the NFC East to the AFC East. It's the Bills taking on the Patriots. I want to go right to that middle game, M. Rob, oh, because oh yeah. <laughs> you especially made a big time Bills prediction way early in this season. Let's let you flex after this. Right now, I got the Buffalo Bills winning the AFC East. Damn! Oh, heard whoa! It. whoa. Hey, get it again. Get it again, nice and clean. You've heard it right here. The Buffalo Bills will win the AFC East. What's the date? June 3rd? Let's get it, Buffalo. Oh! Buffalo Bills! I love Let's not forget, they're only two seasons removed from a playoff team under McDermott. I believe in Josh Allen. I believe in the defense. I think they're going to do just enough to grab a very precious wild card in the loaded AFC. Western New Let's York, see, your picks. see you in the playoffs. They've done more right, than Kyle. just enough. They took down we'll the Cowboys see. on Thanksgiving. They take down the Steelers in primetime on Sunday night. And if they beat the Patriots, they could or do take the East. So how do they do it? I was um, diet prediction, Mike. You, you went was full <laughs> wild card. Something. You went division. Yeah, yeah. yeah. different yeah. Yeah. And they you. do And they do have a chance, right? Yeah. Um, Kyle Allen has to continue to take care of the football, man. He can't do what he did in that first matchup, throwing three interceptions, just giving the ball to the other team. Take what the defense gives you. You never go broke taking a profit. Jeezy, what I talk about every Saturday? Just listen to some Zen music. Calm down a little bit, Josh Allen, and you put your team in a great situation. Tom Brady already has issues versus this defense, guys. And look, it wasn't, that, it wasn't that big of an epiphany, okay? Look at what they did in the offseason. Yep. They took care of the line of scrimmage, brought in Frank Gore, drafted Motor uh, out of FAU. Mm -hmm. Come on, man, this team is loaded. They Let's added go. a couple mm -hmm. pieces, too. They have. I, but I've seen teams do that, and then sure. it doesn't come to Sean fruition. Sean McDermott, though. Well, the okay. Jets added come a bunch on of now. pieces. Okay. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> right? so, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> a lot of teams add pieces. Yeah. And I understand what you're saying up front, but they made the right moves, and they made yeah. the right moves for the guys that not only what they're doing football standpoint uh, from a football standpoint but also from a culture standpoint the culture is correct and that's why yes you have to give Sean McDermott credit for what he is doing he's a remarkably consistent guy mm -hmm. and that's what you ask from your head coach your, it, different head coaches are going to have different philosophies be consistent this guy may be as consi consistent as it gets I, I think we underestimate what he did bringing the Bills team to the playoffs two years ago yeah. with, with a Tyrod Taylor team that was middling at best this guy changed the culture there after 20 some years this guy had a 15 and one pan Panthers team, he's not a big personality. We don't talk about it that much. McDermott is a hell of a coach, and that's what this is all about. Why should I think that Josh Allen's going to go there and throw four picks? He hasn't done that in the last nine weeks. Who's playing better, the Bills or the Patriots? Over the last month or so, the Buffalo Bills have played better football. Yeah, over the and last Devin month. Devin Singletary didn't play that first time that they played. Frank Gore got all of the work, so if Singletary can help balance things out and give Josh Allen a little more focus, I think the Bills can win this game. Oh, trust me, I'm picking them. I'm already. This is, we haven't even had the pick set <laughs> yet, right? I like well, it. I'm picking Jump the it. Buffalo Bills. I'm going to just go ahead and go and say that, but it's it's really just Josh Allen. And again, I think we saw last week when they were playing the Buff, I mean the uh, Baltimore Ravens. He was on total access, and he said, "Look, this isn't a big game." That was him psyching himself out so that he doesn't get in his mind that it's a huge game, so he doesn't sure. throw it 50 yards down the field mm -hmm. to the other Smart. team. Again, just don't turn the football over. Give your team a chance. Look, guys, it was only a block. A block punt that was the difference in this game in the first in the first game. I just can't get I mean this team <laughs> the entire season. We're waiting for that signature win that's gonna stamp the season and say, no, these are not your father's bills. It wasn't that Dallas. Was Sunday night. It wasn't Dallas. See, but that's the Pittsburgh. problem. It Pittsburgh. was at the time, and now you look back, and all of a sudden they reeled off a couple. I hear what of, you're saying. In Pittsburgh, it's it's Duck Hodges. I'm not hating. Yes, you I'm, are. No. Yes, you are. No. Those are playoff no, Mr. caliber Mayor. teams. No, Mr. Mayor of Buffalo. I'm not. <laughs> They're playoff caliber teams. But this, no, no, no. I'm, Who I'm, cares? Listen. The Patriots go up against good competition and lose every time. The Ooh. Chiefs, Texas, Ooh. Ravens. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, this is not your dad's <laughs> Patriots team either. <laughs> But this could be the one. I'm just, I'm not hating. I'm saying this could be the one where you will it should finally be. get people. If like not now, when, Mike, right? This is, the one. Saturday. this is the one. This is the one. And middle listen, game of the double, to the question letter. of like, Josh Allen's been really good for nine weeks. He hasn't played the Patriots defense for nine weeks. And this is a different ball game. But I look at this as a positive. That last game, Josh Allen was kind of a mess, all right? The Bills had four interceptions. They got a punt block, and their star quarterback got knocked out of the game. And they lost by six and points. they barely lose. They, they were right. <laughs> Matt Barkley almost took this thing. And I mean that. So right. I think they're better. I think yeah. they're more mature. 
but I, it's just so psychological. It, it's it, you, you get in a close game with the Patriots, you're like, oh my God, we're going to beat the Patriots, and then you're asleep. The Bengals did it last week. The New York Giants did it. They were going to beat the Patriots. Mm. So it's just so much composure we need from a really young team because I've seen the teams have the Patriots on the rope, and then they're looking for their mouth guard. Got to finish. Yeah. Got to finish. It is. Four quarters. All I'm saying is oh. the Bills have won four or five, and the Patriots have scraped together three wins. <laughs> in the past. But hey, you know when they when they're challenged, they come to play. So. Don't you have a lot of friends? In New England. I love New England. <laughs> I love Chase Winovich. I love you. I love your family. I love everyone. But it doesn't seem like the right year right now it for doesn't. those Patriots. They'll probably win. I'll be in the documentary. <laughs> uh, big game on Saturday. They are the meat of the sandwich right